They're clad in their intimidating looking camo and log around their badass rifles as they came straight out of the war zone. It takes serious work to train toughened soldiers like these, and you don't have to pick up a console to find them either. From a naval force that tames the Atlantic to the strongest battalions in East Asia, here are 20 of the most elite special forces in the world. Number 20. Commando Hubert Friends You know a team of elite soldiers is badass when they take dives in the Atlantic without parachutes as a final exam. For those of you that think math finals are a bust, think again. This military force is a designated combat and swimmer unit assigned to the French Navy Special Operations Force Command. This unit was created during the whole World War II fiasco and was responsible for performing amphibious operations, raids, and many other direct action operations. Is anyone else thinking expendables? Well, these guys were the real deal. To even become one of the Commando Hubert, you'd have to have up to six years of naval experience and then undergo further training in some of the most inhospitable waterborne places in their region. That's right, the Atlantic Ocean takes the cake in this category. In their final exam, they have to make use of all they've been taught whilst battling bone-chilling temperatures that could reach as low as 6 degrees Celsius. During these exams, they do anything from free diving without parachutes to underwater demolitions and obstacle course clearance, all the while trying not to freeze to death. Those who pass become honorary members of Commando Hubert, where they will serve for three years. Number 19. South Korea Army Special Warfare Command Welcome to one of South Korea's top line of defense, folks. Don't mind the half-naked screaming men pulling heavy tires behind them. These soldiers are as tough as they come, and it's no stretch to say that these guys might be one of the scariest military forces in the world. This squadron of specially trained men is one of seven special forces created by South Korea to keep up with their unpredictable, dangerous, and possibly nuclear-armed northern neighbors. Needless to say, these fearsome teams might just be the first line of retaliation or defense should things go sour between these two powerhouse countries. This battalion called the 707th or the White Tigers is the highest ranking of the special forces with the South Korean armed forces. As training to prepare them for their missions, these men are all trained to be black belts in the martial arts style of Taekwondo. Imagine facing off against an entire team of men that could break bone with a single kick. They also undergo hellish drills in the snow and icy rivers to help them build tolerance in more inhospitable environments. These men train almost all day with drills that you'd expect to see in an obstacle course. Number 18. China's People's Liberation Army Here we are at the big boy of the Wild East, folks, and as you'd expect, their military force is no slouch. This is the military force with the greatest number of soldiers, with an estimated whooping 2 million troops. These guys are especially fond of training in some of the harshest conditions that their country can provide. From literally bathing themselves in the snow at a military base in Heihe, to engaging in shooting practices at a military base in Xinjiang Autonomous Region. all the while bathing in the bone-chilling snow that is characteristic of the sea. If you thought the soldiers themselves were amazing, you should see their dogs. I'm not even joking. These felines are drilled almost as much as the soldiers themselves. They could be seen training with another soldier by jump roping with him. The military police are trained and drilled ceaselessly to build a paramilitary force that easily stands with one of the best in the whole world, a true force to be reckoned with. Number 17. National Security Guard, India Here's a contender for the world's toughest military force that not many people would have expected, I'm sure, but India has one of the strongest military presence in the world. And as you'd expect, part of that military muscle that India's flexing is in their military unite. The National Security Guard was created in the year 1984 to protect the elites of the country, especially the Prime Minister. The National Security Guard is specially trained to serve as India's primary counter-terrorism force. The National Security Guard is known for functions like providing security to VIPs, conducting anti-sabotage checks, and is responsible for neutralizing terrorist threats to very important installations. I guess you could say that they're a team bred for countering all forms of terror in whatever guise that they may take. As you'd expect, 
The training that these men undergo to reach the level that they're in is gruesome, to say the least. They first have to go through a week of physical examinations that's so difficult that 80% of applicants fail. Those who do pass then undergo 90 days of training, with only 15% of the total number that first apply to succeed. Both physical and mental training is given to these applicants, sculpting them into the hardened soldiers that they're meant to become to fight terror. Number 16. Russia, Betsnaz. Ah, Russia. There aren't many people who think strongest military in the world and not think of this transcontinental country that's spanning from Eastern Europe to Northern Asia. To stress just how military powerful Russia is, this country owns the second largest arsenal of nuclear bombs in the entire world. They are only second to the United States in this category. But when it comes to military force, they've got one of the best of the best to offer. They are a well-trained, mobile, and combat-oriented group that's part of the Russian Ministry of Defense. These guys are like the Russian versions of ninjas, with important functions uncommon to most other units, like reconnaissance and sabotage, subversion and sedition, counterterrorism, counter-sabotage, counter-intelligence, guerrilla, counter-guerrilla, and other really cool operations. Usually, when one refers to the Spetsnaz, they're referring to the Special Operations Section of the GRU, Russia's Military Intelligence Service, but there are any Special Operations Unit of the Russian military, including the Russian Navy and their airborne troops. The Spetsnaz training regime includes getting fired at with live assault rounds, martial arts instruction with actual sharp bladed weapons. Here they learn to use ballistic knives and other tools with cases of recruits getting stabbed is not too common. If that isn't enough, then I don't know what is. Number 15. Australia Special Forces Commandos They say that only tough people live in this continent country, and with good reasons too. With some of the most dangerous animals on earth taking residence there, only the strong can survive. With that in mind, it's time to imagine just how insanely strong their military must be. If you never gave it much thought, then it's about time you did, because these guys are no pushovers. The Australian Special Forces Commandos, which were established on the 5th of May in the year of 2003, are units associated with the Royal Australian Defence Force. They're especially well known for undergoing operations to advance and protect the national security of the Commonwealth of Australia. They can also lend aid to any other unit performing the same or a similar operation. This unit is composed of the 1st Commando Regiment, Special Air Service Regiment, 2nd Commando Regiment, Special Operations Engineer Regiment, and Special Operations Logistics Squadron. Their training feature anything from scuba diving to in-building mission drills to even skydiving. There's hardly any kind of location these men aren't training on, from trailing ice-capped terrains to mountainous monstrosities. They can even be seen taking firing drills right off of a freaking helicopter. Number 14. The U.S. Navy SEALs And here we are, folks. The one you've all been waiting for. Ladies and gents, I present you with the infamous United States Navy SEALs. Just like the Commando Hubert of France, the US Navy SEALs were a product of the World War II incident where they were a truly dominating force, especially in Europe and the Pacific. Then, these modern day warriors engaged in all sorts of naval combat demolition and underwater demolitions. To match the kinds of missions these men carried out, they were given a nickname, Frogmen. They were hands down masters of amphibious landings and would utterly demolish any enemy units that they caught at sea or the shores. They were originally formed in the year 1962 when they mostly performed operations in Vietnam. In modern times, some of the missions that SEALs undergo usually involve them getting in and out of a hostile location fast, gathering intel, demolitions, and many other operations. These guys could make the chads from the Expendables look like total rookies. They were that good. But this is to be expected when your daily routine training involves swimming 500 yards in an average of 10 minutes completing 100 push-ups in 2 minutes. These guys are anything but human. Which military force do you think is the toughest of the bunch so far? Do leave a comment below. Number 13. Sayrat Metkal, Israel 
Israel is one country at the history of battles. When you're practically surrounded by your enemies, it's only natural that you'd buff up your military force. This is exactly the case with Israel, which has a military force on par with the Russians and Chinese, despite the small size of the country in comparison. The General Staff Reconnaissance Unit, or Sayeret Metkal, was established in the year 1957 by Amman, recorded as its first commander by the name of Avraham Arnon. After its creation, all of its operations were branded top secret by the country's military. This intelligence gathering unit is responsible for conducting reconnaissance operations behind enemy lines to obtain intelligence. They are also tasked with squelching acts of terrorism, as well as the rescue of hostages even beyond Israel's borders. One fascinating feat of the Israeli military unit includes coming up with their combat technique called Katav Maga. This fighting style was extensively taught to all of the Israeli units. And to show just how crazy this fighting style was, it was designed literally to kill. This proved to be so effective that the United States adopted the martial arts style and taught it to their military. Number 12. Special Air Service – The SAS SAS This right here is the British Army's most renowned special forces unit, and that in itself is no small feat. These guys came into the spotlight in one of the most awesome ways a secret service unit could, with several black-clad figures appearing on the balconies of the Iranian embassy in London in the year 1980. Everyone wondered who these enigmatic soldiers were. Even their motto is unbelievably badass, and it reads, Who dares, wins. The 22nd SAS organization is comprised of four groups, each having specific areas of expertise. These include the air troops, are the ones you'd expect to see descending from the skies as they perform parachute insertions. Then there are the boat troops who specialize in carrying out amphibious operations, which is a fancy military term for showing up at the shore with a boat and decking the bad guys. There's a mobility troop who are well trained in using various military vehicles. Then lastly, there's the mountain troops who as their name suggests, are trained to, well, fight on mountains, but to be more specific, highlands, especially the Arctic regions. For training, SAS uses a specially constructed building called the Killing House. This complex features movable partitions, rubber-coated walls to absorb live rounds, and extractor fans to clear out gun fumes. This place could be configured to emulate various scenarios, so the SAS team is always prepared for anything. Number 11. Special Service Group SSG, Pakistan. These are the intimidating neighbors and rivals of Israel, and as you'd expect from a country gutsy enough to face off against Israel, they've got a military force so tough that they blur the lines between humans and superhumans. Officers of the Special Service Group, or SSG for short, undergo some of the most insane training you could ever imagine. All trainees take part in an SSG course at Sharad, which usually lasts for about nine months. There they undergo a series of physical conditioning, combat training, marchings, and other military-based operations. They also go through airborne training, where those who pass get their commando wings from the SSG Airborne School. This training lasts for about four weeks, where they perform five-day jumps and three night jumps with wings awarded after the training is complete. Needless to say, on the battlefield, I don't want to have to fight the dude who trains by having cinder blocks smashed on his belly by a freaking sledgehammer. To become a member of the SSG, one must have at least five years of prior military experience. As for non-commissioned officers, they can volunteer from other formations and could end up serving permanently in the SSG. In your opinion, which military force do you think is the strongest? Leave a response in the comments down below. Number 10. Belarus Red Berets Here's a trick question. What do you think the military of a fiercely militaristic nation would be like? Well, look no further than Belarus. This place is popularly known as the last dictatorship of Europe. These guys have resisted attempts others have made to change from the outdated method of the Soviet Union. The training that the Red Beret undergoes is nothing short of sadistic. During this training, they're pushed to the limits of what is humanly possible, both mentally and physically. Still in doubt of just how hard it is? Then get this, only a handful of applicants succeed at passing, and those who do usually have to try an average of five times to get it. The kinds of things they do to remain at the top of their niche is flat out insane. They'd place cinder blocks on the elevated bodies of the soldiers, set them on fire, and then smash it in with a sledgehammer. Of course, as this is a staple to most military training, the Red Beret also engages in obstacle courses while being enshrouded in thick, eye-watering smoke. 
dang. Even their combat training is executed like they were in a live fighting scenario. Number 9. U.S. Marines Famed as the toughest fighting men in the world, the U.S. Marines are one of the only few military forces that can single-handedly turn the tide of many, if not any, battles. These guys are legendary, with an equally legendary training regime to boot too. Just seeing a clip of a man wearing a gas mask and having to yell till the instructor could hear him from a good distance away was enough to make me completely respect these people. For the recruits to become part of the US Marines, they'd have to complete a 13 weeks training regime where they're pushed to their limits, mentally and physically. These training are heavily laden with techniques used specifically to break them down psychologically so they can be remolded into proper soldiers. During these intensive training throughout the 13 weeks, simply surviving was the symbol of weakness. To become a Marine, you must prevail. This is how they worked. Men, women, rich, poor, it didn't matter. The moment you arrive at Paris Island, North Carolina, your old ways are dead and gone, and you become an instrument of the state. Fight, bleed, and win for the nation they fight for. I think I just got a case of the chills. Number 8. Taiwan Marines for those of you who didn't know, Taiwan has their own marine force, and it seems like any military force given this name tend to have some of the most gruesome, gut-wrenching, and in short awesome military training you could ever see in the world. These soldiers specialize in amphibious-based operations, but you could also find this hardened soldier dropping from choppers and sniping of the enemy from tall constructs. But we could go on all day about how great this military force is, but let's see just what kind of inhumane training these men go through to reach that level of human prowess. The Taiwan Marine Corps undergo a grueling exercise which is ironically named the Road to Heaven. This exercise starts with a trainee taking a standing position and then falling hard to the ground, forming a plank position. Enduring painful bruises to the elbows and forearms are common during such falls, but the worst is yet to come. Now in this plank position, they have to crawl on their forearms and knees over the sand until they reach a 164 feet bed filled with jagged, porous rocks with nothing but a pair of shorts on all the while screaming, I don't fear pain. This is the obstacle one needs to cross to become part of the Taiwan Marine. Number 7. Japan Ground Self-Defense Force the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force, or JDSDF, or simply Japan SDF. These are the Japanese Army, and they're one of the best at what they do. This is the elite Japanese team specialized in various operations specifically carried out on land. These guys are predators in terrestrial-based operations, so don't expect to see them performing any amphibious operations. This squadron of the elite soldiers has an origin date of the 1st of July, 1954, and is the largest of three service branches operating in Japan. This military force is so strong that they are arguably one of the top five strongest military forces in the world, arguably. Recently, they have also been made into Japan's primary unit deployed for counterterrorism operations. They focus on combating and protecting the country themselves and any others who are under their protection. Their training feature all that you'd expect from a land-based squadron. They perform drills in forests, highlands, and even grasslands. They practice and perfect the use of various firearms, including long-range weapons like assault rifles and sniper rifles. We can at least expect this much. If there's ever an act of terror on the horizon, then the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force is on the rollout. Number 6. The United Kingdom's Gurkhas these are the Gurkhas, soldiers from the landlocked Federation of Nepal, are recruited into the already established badass British Army and have been so for the past 200 years. Talk about a long time being this hardcore. Gurkhas are well known to be fearless warriors on the battlefield, but here's something you might not have expected. They are very good-natured soldiers as well, especially in daily life. They continue to retain their golden reputation with fantastic traits like loyalty, professionalism, and hardcore bravery. So far, we've seen instructors drill, grind, and mercilessly yell at their trainees, but the instructors of the United Kingdom's Gurkhas take a gentler approach towards raising good soldiers. This is most probably why their soldiers are a tad friendlier than the most on this list. However, do not be mistaken, these guys are anything but docile, and they've got a well-rounded training regime as well. 
They train their recruits in how to tactically traverse through difficult terrains. They train using live firearms, which is usually quite dangerous, but they do this so that the squad can get a good feel for the real battle situation. To achieve this, they even go as far as blowing up plastic explosives to simulate actual battles. Talk about hardcore. Number 5. Delta Force This is a name that I'm sure would ring a lot of bells in the minds of you awesome folks especially if you're a fan of first-person shooters. But for those of you who aren't, these are the Army's first-ranking Special Missions Unite. They've had several names over the years since their creation in 1977, like Combat Applications Group, Army Compartmented Element, The Unit, and Task Force Green. While Delta Force is technically under the Army, it is still being controlled by the JSOC, or Joint Special Operations Command. The Delta Force is a facultative counterterrorism unit that specializes in direct action, hostage rescue, and reconnaissance missions. Their missions are often so high risk that they can only take their orders from the highest ranking offices in the government. Not anyone can join them either, as they only recruit from the Special Forces and the infamous 75th Ranger Regiment communities, the Green Beret, and Army Rangers. There is simply no way to go from civilian straight to Delta Force. As cool as this team of ultra-specialized soldiers is, we can't tell you about what out-of-this-world training they must undergo to be the best in the Army. Why? Well, because we don't know. Most things about the Delta Force are highly confidential, so unfortunately, not much is known about them. Number 4. France's National Gendarmerie Intervention Group This is the National Gendarmerie Intervention Group, or the less mouthful, GIGN. The group is subdivided into three distinct parts. These are the Intervention Force, which was the original GIGN, the Observation and Search Force, and the Security and Protection Force. They are a highly specialized unit of the French Armed Forces. Their operations are more internally based, with the unit engaging in various anti-errorist operations, seizing of goods from pirates, arresting of war criminals, and the rescuing of hostages, amongst other things. But don't get the wrong idea, even though these soldiers mostly operate within the country, they can and do still operate in some missions outside of the country. Because of the nature of their operations, the National Gendarmerie Intervention Group is fond of getting dogs mixed up in the fray. These pooches have been trained to sniff out things from drugs to bombs. Whatever it is the guy's hiding underneath that shirt, the dog's gonna smell it. They are as much a part of the team as all the other officers. Their training includes, but isn't limited to, weapons handling and combat shooting, airborne operations such as halo, paragliding, heliborne insertions, and so on. They are also trained extensively in hand-to-hand -hand combat, infiltrations and escape techniques, and many more. Talk about a jack of all trades. Number 3. Spain's Special Naval Warfare Force The Spanish Armada, masters of the high seas, they were dubbed Great Fleet then for a reason. That was how it was many years in the past when ships were made thoroughly of wood, but that's also the way it still is now. These military groups primarily operate in various water-based operations. Their plethora of tactical prowess and hardened trained soldiers are most often executed in the squelching of illegal practices over water where they reign supreme. After a rigorous training regime similar to the ones that we had mentioned before, especially for those units who mostly operate on water, like the Marines, those who succeed are literally crowned honorary members of the Spanish Special Warfare Force. A ceremony is held where they've worn their iconic green beret. Though primarily operational on water, the SSNWF often pairs up with other military units to perform joint operations. One example of a not too uncommon operation that this team carried out, which clearly displayed their prowess, was the Tribal Cat operation, carried out in the September of 2011, where they rescued a French citizen captured by Somali pirates. They even made a movie for it. Of the nine pirates, two of them got killed, while three got injured. They succeeded at saving this French citizen from his capture. Number 2. Joint Task Force 2 JTF2, Canada Even though Canada has a reputation as one of the most peaceful nations on Earth, they still have a military unit that is so badass that they hands down deserve a mention on this list. This is the Joint Task Force 2, or JTF-2 for short, Canada's elite squadron of highly specialized soldiers. Their function is pretty simple, defend the national interest of their country, and defeat all forms of terrorism that may threaten the peace of the Canadian people, both at home and abroad. This is what they stand for. These specialized units are responsible for a broad range of missions, ranging from counter-terrorism operations to reconnaissance and waterborne operations like stopping pirate attacks and rescue missions. When they need to be, they can also serve as a line of defense during most conflicts. Their training takes good advantage of the extremely cold weather to train their men to perform their very best, even when their bodies are placed under a lot of stress. 
They execute airborne operations as well, making it seem like there's practically nothing the Special Armed Force of Canada can do. I guess that's one more reason to visit Canada for a nice vacation, knowing that the JTF-2 has got your safety in check. Number 1. GIS, Italy We're down to the final mention on this list, and trust me when I tell you that it is a spot well earned. The GIS, or Gruppo di Intervento Speciale. Here's a special forces unit that is tough enough to make even Sylvester Stallone really proud. These men are hardened, trained, and drilled to the bone, literally. They've been equipped with all necessary training and tactical strategies and devices to restore and maintain the peace of their nation. Just like most of the interior-based special organization of most countries, these guys perform a plethora of functions for their nations. You can find them on land, in the waters, and descending from the air with their wire lines to break into buildings invaded by tangos. Their functions range from counterterrorism to performing water-based operations to stop pirate operations. It's just not their day. These guys are well-equipped, well-trained in various martial arts styles that could serve them well in live action, such as kickboxing and judo, and these men are drilled with the right mindset to hunt down the enemies of the peace of their nation and their people both within and abroad, and thoroughly eliminate them. That's it with this list of elite special forces. Which unit did you find to be the toughest, and which do you think should be crowned as the best in the world? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time!